when you're making wiring diagrams, if you want to know how to make a legend, I'm just going to give you a few pointers here to help you out. So up here in the tool menu, you can click, you can click on rectangle if you want, or you can go to basic shapes and just drag out a rectangle or a square, however you want your legend to look. In this case, I'm going to drag it out. We're just going to just roughly get this figured out here. There's a few things I would recommend. One, I would not use connectors if you want to draw out these lines. So that way you can format them to look like there's field wiring and then factory wiring. Because if you try to use a connector, it's just trying to glue two connection points. So you can see here, it's trying to clip, hook to this rectangle, which that's made more to hook from shape to shape. What you're going to end up doing, we're just going to delete that, is you're going to use a line. So if you click up here in your tools, you can click on line, and then you can just draw a line. Maybe we want that to be a little bit smaller. So we'll go to the pointer tool, we'll click on it, and we'll drag that back. And say we want some text. Well, we can just drag our little text box here however we want because I clicked on text, and we'll say factory wiring. And let's make that smaller because that's pretty big. If we want to adjust it, we can hit this text box here or text block to move it or make it wider so you can add more description in there. I'll go back to the pointer tool. We're going to hold the control key and select the text and the line. And we can duplicate it by doing control D. We can copy and paste by going control C, control V, or I can just hold the control key. You can see where it gave that little plus sign when I'm over it. I can just click and drag, then let go, then let go of your control key. Now I have that. Now I can just change this. I can say field wiring. These lines, you can format them so you can right click on them. I'm going to leave the factory wiring as solid. The field wiring will right click. We'll go to format shape, which is already up over here to the right, but I clicked on line. This dash type, I can select a dash line. So there we go. Now, if we want to line those up, we can hold the control key and select both. Go to a line middle to line the text with the line. Same with this one. If we want those lines to be perfect, we can just select each one of those. So holding the control key, select both, and you can align left. There's multiple things you can do to line this thing up. Another useful function for using that line is say you're trying to hook up to line one and you don't really have anything to connect to. You can make a line like this and make it out here. And then you can double click on it. We'll say that's L1. That's another useful function of using that line. You can also get it to match the size of that wiring by just right clicking on it, formatting the shape. You can change your width of the line. So now it matches. But it's just nice because when you use the connector, that's for gluing from shape to shape. So from connection points to connection points. And if you just randomly try to get a wire out here, it's hard to get it to line up where you want because it's looking for another place to glue.